Okay. All right, we're gonna mess with some angels today. I made a new sign. All the glitter is sticking to everything. It says Noel. Hi, Jean. How are you? See, it has an angel in the middle. Okay, we're gonna put that on a grapevine wreath today. And I actually took part of a pine wreath and attached it to the grapevine. And we're gonna jack it up and put this in there. All right. So first we're gonna start off, we're gonna make our angels. And these are gonna be made with a little wooden um, ball. It's flat on one side and it has a hole in the middle. And then these are going to be put in my shop hopefully this week. These are just plastic angel wings. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some, um, let me see how much we need here. We're going to actually take some ribbon and make the ribbon the dress. So I'm going to say about 10 inches of ribbon. Thank you, dear for spreading the love. It's appreciated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, well, first I'm going to scrunch it up and get this out of the way. We are going to put it right in the middle there of the wings at the top. And then we're going to put the head over top of it. You can do these with any wing or Christmas ball or anything. But if you wanted the wings, like I said, I'm going to put them in my shop. But there's her dress. Hi, Jeanette. Welcome. Why don't I kind of move you guys down so you can see what I'm doing? That would probably be better. Is that good? We're making ribbon angels with some wings. Thank you. Thanks, Levine. So there's her dress. Now, what I did was I have about a seven inch piece of tinsel tie and I poked it in there, put some hot glue in there and put that in there so it's nice and secure. And then we are going to glue that in place here but we're also going to take it down and wrap it around to really secure it. And then bring it up the back and make our little halo. I could have probably used an eight inch piece there. We'll only put it on the one side. She is going to look so cute. And there's her halo. How's that look? Whoops. She's got a cute little dress. So we're going to make three of these because you know it's best to work in odd numbers. I didn't want to take off the pick on the back yet because I'm not sure how we're going to place it on the wreath. So I want to leave that on there. And I've got my Norwix cloth here because it picks up glitter. All right. So I said we did this about, what did I say we did it at? Probably about 10 inches. How you all been? Staying safe? All, all of you should congratulate Sue. She sold her house. She accepted an offer. So, yay. We are happy for Sue. And we are happy for Levine because she has adopted Maddie 
the adoption went through on our and our pretty girl Maddie great Dean all right so we're going to glue this again we're going to glue this there's like a a little crease right here so we're going to glue that in place These wings are great because they lend itself to hiding a lot. And we could even add more if we wanted. I just didn't want to make it too full. I think one is just simple enough. <laughs> yep, she's moving. Hopefully sooner than than she hopes. So we're going to put a little glue here. And then we're going to wrap this around. We're going to bring the head down. And put it in the glue. And then take the tinsel tie. And wrap it around. Up the middle. So see, it kind of just lends itself to disguising itself right there. Keeps it secure. Maddie is such a beautiful dog. She is such a good dog. And then we're going to make the halo. So we got one more to make before we do our wreath. And you could get real fancy with this if you wanted. I chose this ribbon because it kind of goes with the ribbon in the sign. There's snowflakes in here. That's my new sign. I'm still playing with it though. I'm not quite sure on the border yet, but I wanted to do this wreath today. So I thought it best to just go ahead and use it and then play with it afterwards. So it's flat on one side. They call these wooden knobs because they are flat on one side. They use them as door pulls also, like drawer pulls. So if you're looking to, to purchase them, you need a wooden knob because the flat on one side. And the hole lends itself to putting the tinsel tie right in there. And hopefully I will have these listed in my shop. By tomorrow I'm so far behind on listing now I cut a 10 inch ribbon ribbon this is one and a half inch by 10 inches and it's wired ribbon so it's nice it keeps itself it keeps its shape that in our little crevice and we'll get this we'll bend this a little bit and get it ready to place it and all I'm doing is putting a little dab of glue there and pushing this in place and then as you can see from behind I'm just going up the middle of the wing wrapping it around the head bringing it up the back and then using that for the halo the tinsel tile stay in place really well it's really wired good There we go. So now we got three angels to go in our wreath. Lots of glitter. We all love glitter. Oh, I wanted to show you a few things. 
I don't have these listed in the shop yet, but if anybody sees any they're interested in, I'm making car coasters for your consoles in your car. That's a Yorkie mom. I can do any dog possible. I just did a for Dawn. <laughs> okay, Dawn got her car coasters. She had a Chihuahua, so I did Chihuahua Mom. Yay! Oh, cool. Then I have some of my signs. I actually took them and made them into car coasters. Like this is my gnome sign that's let it snow. We also have Yorkie Dads because I have a lot of Yorkie Dads. And the one sign I had that said, Sisters Make the Best Friends, I thought this would be cute as a gift. And then we have Al's, which I did this for my daughter-in-law's birthday. I put her name on them. I can put names on these also. Like, see, for instance, this is the one I made myself. I know. And what's nice about it, you know how sometimes you get gifts and it's like, oh man, where am I going to put this? You already have a place to put it, right in your car. Then I have a buck for the guys. I know. And I think I'm going to change the sign to read um, Mothers Make the Best Friends or uh, Sisters or Aunts or, you know, we can play with it. And then I just made this one for my son. I missed his birthday this week. I, I didn't want to share germs, so I didn't go. But any team I can put in a car coaster too. So um, I have a bunch of new items coming in that will be, make awesome gifts. So again, if you see these on one of my lives and you don't see them in my shop, just contact me. And I'll invoice you through PayPal. There you go, Dawn. That would be a nice one. Dawn suggested Sisters in Christ. So, a lot, lots of ideas. Gift-giving ideas. Because this year, due to COVID, is going to be extremely hard to shop. It's going to be extremely hard to get your items on time. There's going to be limited quantities out there. So, I tried to pre-order as much as I could. So I have enough in stock. So if you are in need of a last minute gift and you can't figure out what to get the person, all you have to do is tell me what their interests are. Boom, we'll figure it out. I have checkbooks coming in. I have keychains coming in. And these are a really nice keychain round. Um, I have paw prints coming in for ornaments. Um, they're all supposed to be in this week, so lots and lots of ideas. Okay. And flags. I'm also doing some um, custom, for our customers, some custom doormats, too. So they are going to be nice. All right. Let me get rid of some of this so we're not overwhelmed. Now that I'm working on the first floor, let me tell you, I end up trailing this through the house, getting it on the dogs. The little puppies are sparkling. I'll try after I'm done to do a short live from the whelping box since I haven't had much time to share. Cool. All right, so what I did with this, I actually have tinsel tie that looks like the pine greenery. So what I did was I just looped it through the top of the wreath base. Um, well, not doing too well through there. Just trying to show you. I looped it through there and then I put this on top and then I twisted it down to tie it in place. I actually bought a bunch of these off of someone's sight unseen and I don't know if what how it happened but they were jammed in a box, and when I got the box, half the um, wreath bases were broken. So I'm trying to come up with simple ideas to reuse these and not waste them. So it's frustrating, but I think this is a good option. Um, you know, I'm not throwing it out. 
I'm just recreating. Uh, yeah, I am your business buddy. Dawn's business buddy, Levon's business buddy, anybody's business buddy. Not that I can help that much with your business, but here if you need me for sure. All right, since this is a little not so, not as nice as I want it to be, I actually had some leftover pieces from, and I've told you this before, we, I use a lot of um, pine garland that I get from Michael's, the big long ones. Okay, that's awesome. The angel wings are gonna be, I think they're like $2.95 a piece, but you know, um, all you need to do, and I have the tinsel tie, I can, you know, I can even price them as a kit if people want them like that. So what I thought I'd do, because I want to extend this a little bit, I'm going to put these two pieces in there. All right. I'm just going to glue these to the base, the, the fern, the pine base. We had um, three puppies here last Wednesday night into the wee hour mornings of Thursday. So everybody's doing good. Yes. I end up usually buying them at Michael's and using my 40% off coupon. And this one in particular had like three or four types of pine on it, which was nice because then you can just use them as filler throughout. Hi, Deb. How are you? So I also have some of these. They're just, they've got glitter on them. Here I am trying to show you on my phone. <laughs> No problem. Thanks, Peg. So I'm going to put some of those in here, too. These were from last year. They have like this, I'm going to call it dew, like raindrops on it for lack of. So this one I think I'm going to put about there. It only has one, so going to cut one off. So I'm going to put it just before the one we just added. All right, because I want to pull out some of the sparkle here. So let's glue them into place. Yeah, pine garland is great to buy and then cut up to add to your basic pine wreath bases that really need a shot <laughs> they just look some of them are just like this one it's just just plain it's doesn't have a lot of um what's the word i want to use like dimension it, i mean it's just flat without it so you really want to add to it if i'm missing your comments i will go back on at the end because if you don't go on at the end, after you're done, they all start to disappear. So if I don't answer you back, it's because your comment disappeared. I get a senior discount? <gasps> I didn't know that. How old is senior considered? Because <laughs> I'm not 65 yet. <laughs> So now I'm going to put one of these there. I'm going to put one of these in here. And then I'm going to put this other one over here. That looks good. I like that. <gasps> then I, I qualify. Thanks, Peg. Good to know. I was going to go up there today, but I didn't quite make it. I need a really thin paintbrush to do some detail stuff. 
And I'm sorry I missed Monday night, so my plan is to try and do another live before the end of the week. And if any of you aren't doing anything at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today, um, Ranch House is having a, a live sale. So you might want to check her out um, in her, her design group and Levon's the one that told me about it and I am so loving it. I am learning so much from her. Now I think what I can do, I think I can take out the stems and glue them to the tip of one of these pines. Let's try that. But let me place them first and see where we want to go with them. I know I want to put one there. How about that? This will work out great. <sighs> Breathe. So there. All right. So I think that's where about I want them. Aren't they cute? So I'm just going to put a little gap at the top of one of the pine branches and just look at that. It just lends itself right to that. That just worked out perfect. You know how when you have a design in your head and nothing's going right and you're like, oh. that was my kind of day today. Struggling trying to figure out what to make. There. And I think with these wings, a solid color with some um, silver glitter on it is going to work for you. <gasps> yeah, you better. <laughs> She is a master at florals. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm like a kid in a candy store because I've been going back through her her lives, you know, like since I joined her group, I'm going back through the files and, and then I find this one and then I find that idea and she's I feel like a stalker. But I'm just learning so much. I'm I don't misunderstand me. I like mesh, but I'm really digging in my designs to not use mesh. Um, I want to I wanna do more items. So, I mean, hence, that's why I did that, um, that reindeer. And then I went ahead, where did I put them? They're over there, I think. I went ahead and I did some Christmas trees in the um, buffalo print, the paint I showed you. Now, I also have some silver here that I think I'm going to stick in, too. And because I want to pull out the blue in this sign, I have some blue balls I'm going to stick in here, too. And then I think my sign's going to hang down the middle. And then we're going to do a bow over this side. Let me turn it around so you can kind of see it. I know you're looking at it backwards. See, that's going to go in there. This is an 18-inch wreath base that I did do such a good job on trimming up right away. But I don't know if any of you have been finding any good ones and grapevine wreaths are looking pretty chintzy lately. There we go. All right, so we're going to take the knobs off of these and we're going to place some of our balls. Okay, thanks, Peg. I 
I don't know if any of you know, but blue and purple are like my favorite colors. All right, so let's kind of do a dry run here of where we want to place these. I think I definitely want to go with one down here. And I definitely want to go over here and see with the balls again. I'm just going to put a dab of glue in there and just stick them right on the edge of the pine branch. Look at that. Ooh, they wiggle. I don't think I want them to wiggle. I'm going to go up one with this and then let me see how that looks. I think I need to go up a little with this one. There. Don't they look beautiful? Look at that. All right, we're going to glue those in place. And this ball's missing some paint. So we're going to ditch that one. And this ball has a little dent, so we're going to try and pop that back out. Actually, if we put that up here, no, let's put it on the inside. I'm not even going to see it. So just put a little glue down the hole. Fire in the hole. There we go. And that one can go there. <coughs> and I go down just as far as you possibly can. So that's really going to hold it in place. Y'all wouldn't mind spreading the love. I'd really appreciate it. Oops. But see, I didn't have to add a whole lot of greenery. Because with the uh, angels and the greenery I did add, it was just enough to disguise this kind of dreary looking, looking wreath base. It's just enough to pop out that color from the sign. There we go. All right. Now. I'm trying to figure out how to disguise like I was going to put this, let it hang from up top here, but I'm thinking if I do a corner down there and a corner up here, that might work. Let's try it. ahead and just use a little bit of this because down here we can disguise it in the under the pine hey Kayla <laughs> trying to get back amongst the living Kayla is one of my new puppy moms. I haven't met yet, but she's very excited to get Mr. Green. Boy, is he a cutie. 
they're all getting fat. Holy cow. Because there's only three of them, boy, they're drinking up all the milk. All right, so we got that there. Then we're going to pull this one up to here. So, let me think about this. Nope. I'm just going to use the green because my, my, my bow, I think, is going to just go this way, both directions. So, if I can't disguise it with my bow, then I'll come up with plan B. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a Christmas wreath kit right on my, in my Etsy shop. It's all there, Kayla. Now I may still have to tuck it down here too, but for now, um, should have went the other way. I want it to go down in and tie underneath. So I'm gonna pull up on this and go down through. Then I have less of the tinsel tie showing. hope to get my my um, Etsy shop caught up and things listed. I have signs and everything that I just haven't had a chance to get to. So I apologize. It's been a long week. Okay, let's see how that. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to put one down here. But that's okay. Let's do that while we have the bow out of the way. And I can probably take another one up there too. All This is always the tedious part. It takes so much time. If you want to do it neat and disguise it nicely. This is a 12 by 6 sign vertical. It says Noel. And then um, like the vertical sometimes, just something a little different. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's trim off this excess. Twist this under. Like I said, my bow is probably going to cover most of the this add a little piece man that blue is looking awesome on the screen it really pops I like it Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, 
I do have some silver here that I can add in here. I'm not going to add it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my bow and I may add the silver in the bow or I may go back and add some in there too. So we're going to, we're going to play with it and see what we end up with. All right. Get rid of some of the glitter. Actually, it gets rid of all the glitter. Love it. All right. Now, there's a few colors I've chosen. I didn't quite have the one blue. This has blue and green in it, so I kind of like that. Of course, what I used for the dress, I'm going to add that in there. And then I found this. I thought, okay, it's got snowflakes, it's got white. It kind of gives it a rustic feel. And then there's this, which I just don't know if I want to use that or not. Maybe if I just go with a hound's tooth. <coughs> Let me look. Maybe I need something more solid like this one, but that's not a two and a half inch. I'm just pulling out some to see. I also have this, but then I thought I'm getting into too much with the snowflakes. So let's start with this add this and then see where we go from there let's just play everybody okay with that i know right evelyn welcome and see i just thought i'd throw some of this in there because then you've got the brown on the wreath base And again, I'm not sure I'm going to leave that border on that sign either. I just made it today, so I may go change that out. Like, I think this works better with it. I don't know. Now this is a more sheer, but it's got our glitter. That's why I thought I'd, I'd do the tan first and kind of put this over top of it to kind of tone it down a little. So let's start out with that. And that's just ribbon, I think, from like Dollar General, I think. And it's going to be up here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do about um, 12 inches in tails. And let's see how much of a loop. Oh, about a six inch loop. Six inch. There. I like to work in threes and fives. So I think I'm just going to do three on this one. same size. Yep. Now, I'm going to do about 12 inches on this. Evelyn, if you see ribbon that I have, I do have some in my shop, but if you see something I use in a design, all you have to do is send me a message. I'm always selling ribbon. Ah, I wanted 
this to go the other way because I wanted I wanted the loops on this side. <coughs> I mean the tails. <coughs> Excuse me. This one a little longer. There we go. That's a pretty combination. Now, I don't think I want to pull this in. I really don't. I'm thinking maybe this one would be a nice alternative to this and that. So, we don't need this. We're done with this and this. We can pull this in with this and then this on the end. That's it. All right. So about a 12 inch tail tails on this side, so this time we're going to do them on this side. And I'm going to go just a tiny bit shorter than the last one. Which that needs to be just a little bit longer. There we go. Making sure I'm not missing your comments. I'm working on a new piece of equipment for crafter tables. So when I get that done, I'm going to be anxious to share it. All right. Where's the end? This is pulling the blue and the green because you see it's got that shimmer. All right. And if ever you struggle with bows and just bow design and color, watch people's lives or their videos on YouTube, or check out Pinterest, check out Etsy. Um, I'm finding some awesome bow combinations just in pictures, you know? So that's an option too. And then we'll finish off with this one. And we're bringing the snowflakes back to the surface to match that. Now, with this, I'm trying to decide whether I want to do just one loop. Yeah, let's go three. If if I don't like the three, I can always take it out because it's the one on top. I can trim it. Ah, thank you for all hanging out with me. It's appreciated. There we go. <clears throat> now, do I use this? Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. Now, the best thing to do is twist the bow and hold, hold your tinsel tie in place. All right, I 
let's do some dovetails while we put it on. Anybody have any questions, any requests? Don't hesitate to, to ask. I don't know. Oh, I think we do. All right. On here. <clears throat> now, what I want to try and do is go down through the middle so that way I can make this disappear even more. The tinsel tie. And see how easy that is? If you can find a path, it's easy to pull it through. I do have a couple of um, tinsel tie colors in my Etsy shop. Hey, Willie, how are you? All right, let's go ahead and do some fluffing. where you have the black. I'm going to get one of these going up. I'm going to get one of these going up. going down. Oh, maybe you don't want me on your TV. <laughs> I'm a mess. All right. Well, let's get the pop out the blue, bluish green. some of the big shots really make it look easy when they pull their bow out. I sometimes struggle when I pull it out. But that's okay. That's my style. I might shorten that. Don't know yet. All right, and then let's get the weight up for our angels. And get 
one of these up and one down. There we go. Yeah, I definitely want to go a little shorter on this since it's going to be up. Trying to pull these over this way to kind of disguise. There we go. Now it's working. All right, let me look at this a minute and see if we want to take some of these. I don't like that one, so let's take a few of these. I can find my cutters. Let's see what we can do. I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to put a few over here and then balance it out with a few over there. I think that'll work. So, so it looks like it's gone all the way around. pretty. didn't come off right there it is we'll use that one <clears throat> one two three four five all right actually and then let's get some of this in there and then I think we're good actually I don't know. Like that there. I'm just not, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it with the ball in there. No, don't know. I like it not.
think I'm just liking the, the brush floral in there. don't know. I think that is what I want. But I've got three of these. So I could kind of incorporate these in there too. A little bit like that, and a little bit like that. All right, what do you think? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, thanks, Willie. Loving yours too. They haven't been on much. I'm trying to get back in the swing. I'm just not sure if I need this other ball over here like I don't know what's your thoughts thank you I just I'm not liking it I, I like it I I mean I like it and when I take it away it's missing it but yet not doing it for me. That's not doing it for me either. Oh, ha ha ha. Wait a minute. Um, I can't find it. I had some um, I have some snowflakes, but I also thought, hmm, I'm going to think on it a while. I'll think on it a while, and then I'll, uh, I'll try one of the snowflakes there, or I could put one of our angels there, too. Just... Now, see that's, nope, they need to stay over there. I'll think on it. Do I have a silver ball? I do have a silver ball. Now, There's a silver ball. Maybe it needs to be shinier. A shinier silver ball. Wait a minute. I got one here. No, that's yeah, I do. Oh, you think it needed that? Mm, I don't know if a pine cone would work. Mm. 
or, 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 wait, 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 I think I got it. I've got these little blue balls. You like that, huh? All right, wait a minute. maybe put that on there and then pull that color over what do you think you see that matches that it matches that Or is that too much? It's hard to tell with this big pick on the end. Did I rescue it or did I make it worse? I don't know, what are your thoughts? Too much. Looks like it kind of put under, peeking out from underneath. What do you think? Yes, with the blue. Or no. Anybody awake? Blue in the middle or just the ball in the middle? Okay, Evelyn says ball in the middle, the blue. All right, so we need the blue in the middle. Need the blue in the middle. We got it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your help and for hanging out with me. It's been real. Yeah, because see, this is just too much, but that is just enough, and it's pulling that, and there's some threes in here, so I'm kind of liking that. I could put a little bit over here. I think that's good. I like it. I'm leaving it. And I'm out of here. Well, I'm glad you caught me too. Thank you.